scores, and we can kind of talk through them a little bit. So here we have the first chord is just D major, but then we're adding a major seven to it. A major seven is half step down from the root, so check it out, the root is D, you could think about the root up here, and take it down by half step. There's your D major seven. Then we moved it up for F sharp minor se seven in root position. So here's F sharp minor. When we add the minor, the flat seven, so here's the root of F sharp. If we go half step down, we have major seven. Another half step down, we have flat seven. So F sharp minor seven. And that repeats on the next chord next measure. On measure 5 we have E minor flat 7 minor 7. So here's E minor. To add the 7, if it was the major 7 it would be here, but it's the flat 7 so it's here. And that repeats. And then we go to A7, so check it out, A7 in root position would be here. We have major 7, flat 7. But if we invert it, like it's asking on second inversion, your E will be on the bottom. So it would be here. So for E minor 7, the bottom two stay the same. The top two go down to find the rest of a 7 chord. Then measure 9 kind of starts uh, with a D major. So it's the same as the first line. So we have D major, triad. Add the major 7, jump up to F sharp minor 7, that repeats on measure 12. Measure 13 we have E minor 7, so again here's E minor. To find the minor 7 is the D, so it's the, the uh, whole step below the tonic, right? And now we have G minor with a major 7. So let's start that with uh, in root position. Here's G minor with a major 7. But we want it inverted in second inversion. So the top two notes here need to go down. And then we just have the G minor in second inversion as well. Then major... Uh, Measure 17, G, D major, repeats, add the major 7, now A7 should be A7 with the E on the bottom because it's second inversion, so check it out, we already have A and C sharp up here, the 5th is on the bottom, and we add the 7th in the middle. That stays there for a long time, for four more, like six more measures. Um, and then we are on measure 27 for G major 7. So here's G major 7 in root position. To get it in second inversion, the top two notes need to go down by an octave. And that stays in that position. And then it goes down to D in root position. So those are the chords for across the universe. Um, 